Today we're exploring Viking Therapeutics' latest breakthrough in obesity treatments revealed at Obesity Week 2024, where their new oral medication showed impressive weight loss results in early trials. But with giants like Eli Lilly and Novo Nordisk, can Viking overcome the production challenges to make it big in this competitive weight loss market? Stick around as we break down what this could mean for those of us battling the disease of obesity and the future of weight loss options. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to The Downsized. I'm Christopher Drum. For those new to our channel, my wife Lorraine and I are on an adventure with GLP-1 medications, a path that has helped us lose over 130 pounds. If you enjoy staying updated on our personal adventure, thoughts, and the medical treatment of obesity and the science behind them, please like and subscribe. And remember, while we are passionate about sharing the latest insights and information on weight loss treatments, it's essential to consult your healthcare provider before starting any new medication. Your doctor can provide personalized advice based on your health profile, medical history, and any other treatments you might be using. Today, we have some fascinating developments from Obesity Week 2024 held in San Antonio, Texas. First, a little background on Obesity Week. This premier international conference held this year from November 2nd through the 6th in San Antonio is produced by the Obesity Society, or TOS. TOS was founded in 1982 and is the leading professional society focused on obesity science, treatment, and prevention. With around 2,800 members worldwide, ranging from early career researchers and students to established professionals, Obesity Week covers the full spectrum of obesity science. It's a unique event where we see everything from diet and lifestyle interventions to cutting edge medical and surgical solutions. It's a whole lot of smart people gathered in one place to talk about the medical treatment of obesity. For those interested in catching up on all the latest insights from Obesity Week 2024, you can buy access to all the presentations on demand through Obesity Week On Demand sessions. This option offers access to session content without needing conference registration. Now, we're not sponsored by these guys, but it's a great resource. It's very medical, very scientific. So if you're into it, it's a couple hundred bucks. You can go watch all the presentations. On November 4th, Viking Therapeutics made a notable presentation on their VK2735 obesity medication, introducing promising early stage data from this experimental oral treatment. Viking Therapeutics, a biopharmaceutical company focused on metabolic disorders, showcased impressive weight loss results in their trial participants. Those taking the highest doses of VK2735, which is 100 milligram, experienced an average 8.2% reduction in body weight over 28 days. Now, that's a huge dose of API, so it should be interesting to see how they make that happen. When adjusted for placebo, this translates to a 6.8% weight loss a significant achievement within a short time frame. Remarkably, 100% of participants on this high dose achieved at least a 5% weight reduction, making it a noteworthy contender among oral medications. While these results initially sparked enthusiasm, the presentation also highlighted some challenges. Although the drug was generally well tolerated, mild nausea was reported in six out of nine participants in the high dose group, with one case of vomiting. Viking CEO Brian Leanne assured that these side effects were mild and aligned with those seen in other obesity treatments, indicating a potentially favorable tolerability profile. However, financial analysts quickly shifted focus to Viking's production capabilities. While the stock saw an initial rise, it eventually dropped by 13% concerns about the company's ability to scale VK2735 for commercial demand. Analysts like James Shin from Deutsche Bank pointed out that manufacturing an oral obesity medication at high doses could be challenging, especially compared to the extensive infrastructure already in place for industry leaders like Eli Lilly and Novo Nordisk. These established companies, already known for their injectable treatments, Manjaro, Zepbound, Wagovi, and Ozempic, are moving ahead with their own oral formulations, intensifying competition. Adding to the competitive pressures, AstraZeneca also presented early stage data for its own obesity pill at Obesity Week, showing a 5.8% weight reduction in diabetic patients, a result that highlighted the increasingly crowded obesity medication market. With the obesity treatment industry projected to grow to $130 billion by the decade's end, 
Investors and analysts are closely watching Viking's next step to see if they can rise to meet demand should VK2735 advance further. Despite these hurdles, Viking remains hopeful. Lynn mentioned that the company is in discussions with larger drug manufacturers and contract partners to help scale production. An essential move if VK2735 is to stand a chance in the expanding obesity drug market. Now, what happens next? Who knows? They obviously need a partner or they need an acquisition. So somebody needs to buy them and say this drug is worth so much money we're willing to move it in. So one of the big players that already has space in the market could come in and help them out and honestly buy the entire company if it was worth it. Or they've got a partner. Time will tell. But the more medications out there for obesity, the better as far as I'm concerned. For those of us battling the disease of obesity, the arrival of an effective oral medication could be transformative, offering an easier to use option with potentially fewer side effects than injectables. Viking's VK2735 could be a game changer if it can clear production and scalability hurdles. Thank you for joining us for The Downsize. Please remember to like and subscribe for more insights on weight loss and on our personal adventures in health. I'm Christopher Durham, and we are The Downsized. Downsized.